Hello everyone, this is Shukesh Bonir, Cadre Watching Gadgets Portal. Today I am going to make a full hardware review on the new Micromax Funbook Talk P350. And you must have already seen the unboxing and hands-on review and also the gaming review. Now in this video I am going to make a couple of tests along with the benchmarks on this new tablet from Micromax which can also make calls. Now let's get started. Now first of all regarding the build and the looks of this device, I will say the build of this device is excellent. It is very sturdy and also feels quite good in hand and the dimension is also quite user friendly. But regarding the looks, I will say this is okay, not the very best. The front look could have been a little bit better but the back look is very premium. And it is kinda heavy actually for the size of the device. But you can easily handle the tablet like the way I am handling this as the lower part of the bezel is kinda thick. Now the price of the device is only 7200 rupees which is the best thing on this tablet. Now let's have a quick harder tour. Here is the 7 inches display with 480 by 800 pixel resolution which is standard for a device with this price tag. And it is obviously capacitive and multi-touch. Now you are also getting a harder back button here just like the iPads which is very handy sometimes. Now here you are getting the front facing VGA camera and there is also a nice notification LED light over here. Here on the top you are getting the volume rocker over here and here is the power as well as the lock unlock key and here is the sim card slot which is very unique in this device. Actually this is the first budget device with sim card facility. Now here on the left side you are getting the speaker grill which is in a weird location because when you are handling this tablet like this way you will actually cover this up and the speaker is also very weak as well so you should actually use your headset or headphone. Now here on the bottom you are getting absolutely nothing and here on the right hand side you are getting some ports and also a microphone hole over here. Here is the 3.5mm headset jack because this is also a phone. Here you are getting a mini USB port for data syncing and here you are getting an HDMI port. Here is the micro SD card slot which can take up to 32GB and here is the charging port. The back side of this tablet has nothing important but I must say that the quality of the back is very premium and also looks quite good and the form factor of this tablet has got a lot of similarities with the Lumia Nokia mobile phones. Overall I am satisfied with the build quality of this tablet considering the price and the front look would have been a little bit better. Now let's unlock the device and show you the display and other things. As I mentioned before this is a harder review I will only cover the harder parts. Now first of all the display on this device is quite good uh, considering the price obviously. The pixel per inch is not comparable to any mobile phone but this is a tablet you will watch it from a distance and from a normal distance the PPI should not bother you that much. But regarding the color reproduction and also regarding the contrast level it is quite good. The brightness of the display is okay mostly suitable for indoor uses and regarding the viewing angles as you can see from the bottom vertical angle there is a decolorization which is typical for all the entry level mobile phones and also for tablets. You can obviously expect quality like IPS screen on a 7000 rupees tablet which can also make calls. So overall the display on this device seems quite justified for the price of the device. Now as you know the main feature of this tablet is the calling facility and I am going to make a call with this device. You are getting the dialer over here. Let's make a call. And one thing I should mention here is that it takes several minutes for the tablet to detect the SIM card unlike mobile phones. Now let's make a call. And as you know there is no earpiece on this tablet so the sound actually comes from the speaker which is very very weak. I don't think you will be able to hear it, it is almost inaudible. You should obviously use the headset provided with this device. I hope you have heard it and you should not actually blame Micromax for this because tablets are not suitable for calling this way and the price of the device is only 7000 rupees which is pretty low and regarding the call quality I haven't found any kind of flaw and any kind of degradation on the voice clarity and another positive thing is that this tablet has got bluetooth inbuilt so you can use bluetooth headsets. Now this tablet obviously supports multi-touch and I am going to check the multi-touch points and I am going to load a live wallpaper and as you know I always use the Koi live wallpaper for this. And this tablet can handle 5 point multi-touch without any problem and regarding the response of this tablet I will give it full marks considering the price of the device it is very very responsive I haven't found any kind of lag or 
hiccup throughout the user interface it is very fluid and any other micromes mobile phone even the micromes a100 is not so powerful so responsive thanks to the very powerful 1.2 gigahertz processor and the 512 mb of ram which is very very important for budget devices like this and the reason behind the comparison is the fact that this tablet can also make calls though you should keep in mind that the call quality will not be as good as mobile phones and regarding data connectivity this tablet can only support 2g network which is very very slow on this device i have tried to download an app and it was downloading at around 2 or 3 kbps so the sim card support should be considered as an add-on you can't actually replace your mobile phone with this tablet especially for browsing and downloading applications and games from the google play store though facebook twitter like oasis load fine and the calling facility is not very bad now i'm going to play an mp3 song and check the loudspeaker quality this song is quite loud and I hope you can hear it. Now let's quickly check the Android version storage RAM etc and the Android version is 4.0.3 not the latest version of ICS that is the 4.0.4. Now here is the storage information it has got very nice 1 gb of storage for your applications and you can move the applications to the internal sd card storage and here is the sd card storage you are getting around 2 gb of storage here so total of you are getting around 3 gb of storage for your applications which is more than adequate now here is the ram information and you are getting total of around 300 mb of ram space which is not bad at all now it is the time to run some benchmarks and first of all I will try the Quadrant benchmark. The processor on this device is ARM version 7, clocked at 1200MHz, not 1000MHz as specified by Micromes on their packaging. And the resolution is 800 by 444 pixels with 160 by 160 dpi and the refresh rate is 59.75 Hz and the GPU is very good ARM Mali 400 MP. You are also getting 3-axis accelerometer and also 2-axis orientation sensor. Now let's start the benchmark. You are getting total of 1533 on the quadrant standard which is quite good for a device like this. Now let's try Ninamark to benchmark. As you can see friends, you are getting amazing 30.2 FPS on Ninamark 2 which is far better than any Micromes mobile phone in the market and also any entry level to mid range mobile phone from any brand. This high FPS will enable this tablet handle a lot of mid range to high end games. Now let me show you the Anto the benchmark. You are getting very nice 2816 on Anthudu benchmark with very good GPU score. So regarding the internal hardware, the tablet is very good considering the price of around 7000 Indian rupees and you are also getting calling facility on this device. Just wait for few more days, I will upload a full in-depth review on this tablet showing you the web browsing and also the whole user interface along with the camera, music and the video playback. So don't forget to subscribe to Gadgets Portal and you can also visit my Facebook page facebook.com slash gadgets portal for more info and updates. Overall, I liked the device mainly because of the very good build quality and also the performance but regarding the data connectivity and also regarding the battery performance, I am not very happy but I do recommend this to all of you because this is a value for money device and the features you are getting at this price tag is admirable. You can wait for my in-depth review or you can just buy it. So thanks for watching guys, see you in the next video, bye bye and take care.